What's up people? Today we're going to do an unboxing and setup of the Alarm.com ADC V723X as well as the ADC V523. Today we're going to be using the TELUS app, but we can use the Alarm.com or any other company that works with ADC here. So companies like Brinks, ADT, uh, Stanley, these companies work with the ADC equipment. So let's just get started by unpacking the stuff. So a quick little tidbit about the difference with these cameras here. One's recommended for outdoor, one's for indoor. The outdoor one, it really doesn't matter where you put it. The only difference would be the price. The indoor one, I would not recommend you put it outside because it is not as sealed as the the outdoor one. As you can see, the outdoor one's built way more sturdy than the indoor one indoor one kind of it's kind of flimsy in my opinion but that's how they make it and uh it works so this is basically what you get in the box uh a couple of screws the mount the camera and the power right um i'm just gonna set up the, the camera here just plug it in and then i'm going to uh transfer everything over to the app side so you can see what happens on the app as well as for the camera in person, right? So if I flip the camera up here, you'll see the LED light has started to change. Once it's, it's kind of orangey red. Once it's, that's just it powering up, then it will eventually, it will go green and then white. So white means it's, it's ready for the setup kind of like how it is now so there's a couple ways you could set it up there is a wps button on the camera as well as on your modem so you could press it and you can uh, get them to talk to each other or you can scan the code in the app as well do the wi-fi version so basically what you would do is just go to your wi-fi network and you will see the name of the cam in your wi-fi you go there and then you go to this website. Some phones will actually let you just, as soon as you connect, it brings you directly to the website or there's a link in the actual connection page. I'm going to be going over the setup with you guys. There will be some cuts and jumps due to security purposes because obviously I don't want all my information out there. So uh, there will be some jump cuts when it comes to what I'm showing you in the app. But for the most part, it is generally what you'll be seeing. If you are trying to set it up and you're having a hard time, just leave a comment in the uh, comment section, of course, and just tell me what your issue is and I can help you work through it. This process does take a while. So I'll be doing two things. I'll be speeding up the video for one, and I, as well as I will be doing a combination install, right? So I'll hook up the the outdoor first and then I will do the indoor pretty much simultaneously right so at this point I've just hit the WPS button on both the camera as well as the modem and uh, my light is red so this is a perfect opportunity to show you that if the light stays red for too long then it is not going to work it's not going to sync so basically you have to reset it or just simply unplug it and plug it back in then it should just uh reboot itself into initialization mode so uh to demonstrate this i'm going to unplug it as well as i'm going to bring in the secondary camera and show you exactly what i would talk about for the hookup of the camera this is a good way to troubleshoot so this is the indoor camera here and i'm just gonna plug it in and we're gonna start seeing some lights very soon and once we get to the white light then I'm going to sync it and get it to work on the system here on the app. Perfect. Now I got the white light. Now I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by the WPS, just in case you don't know. Basically two arrows going in opposite directions, kind of like two snakes trying to eat each other. So that's it there. So what you want to do is basically just use your thumb and push it in. If your thumb is not able to push it in, you could use like a screwdriver or something just to push the little button. Uh, once it goes blue, you know you are in uh, sync mode. 
Uh, that's what I was trying to do with the outdoor camera, but it didn't work. So once you're in sync mode, this is when you press the WPS on your modem or router, and it should initialize and they should sync together. So just give me a quick second to do that. Once they uh, start talking to each other, it will go red. After the, it goes red, it will go green. Once it goes green, then you know it's going to work. As you can see, the outdoor camera has not gone green yet, but soon the indoor camera will go green because this time I've done it correctly. I find this by far the easiest way to do it, but everybody has their preferences, so you can do it in a way you would like, What is whatever is easiest for you. As you can see, the light is now green. Now, sometimes I like to wait and see if the light does anything, because sometimes what it will do, it will do like a reboot of itself and then come back, or it will try and uh, get some information and then come back up, right? So now we've determined that it's not, uh, it's not the internet, it's the camera, right? So I'm going to do the same thing on the, uh, the outdoor camera here. Uh, just hold the button down until it goes blue. And once it goes blue, we should be in synchronization mode. So once both cameras are on your network, it is time to go to the app, get the cameras connected to your smart home. So in the app, if you go to uh, the three lines there and you press video and you go to add a camera or add a device, your two cameras or one camera will show up here. You would just differentiate them by Mac address on the bottom of the camera there where there's a QR code. Chances are you'll just be hooking up one. So you might not have enough to worry about that. Just find your camera and basically just get it to initialize. So first thing you can do is name it and then you're going to have it do its update. Once it does its update, then it should be ready to do the calibration and stuff like that. And once it's all calibrated, uh, you will be able to set your rules and set where, what you want to capture when you're ready to do the install. For the meantime, since we're waiting on this update, I will be showing you how to mount it to uh, whatever surface you want to mount it to. Uh, of course, the best thing would be to wood or some sort of some place you could put a, a wall anchor or something. These aren't heavy, so for the most part, you won't need an anchor. But if you're putting it in a, a tricky place, you, you're going to want to get an anchor. The ones it comes with aren't the best, so be careful with those. The first uh, camera we're going to start with is the outdoor camera. The bracket on here, actually, it's it's really nice. I, I actually like this bracket. The one on the... Um, the indoor camera is a little bit finicky, I would say. It's it's not the best. But anyways, uh, so there's two holes here. They're they're uh, kind of off. Grab your drill, drill in one, drill in the other. And then that little screw hole at the top there, that is for just to secure it. But what I found, sometimes those screws are not the best. So I ended up ripping them out and just putting a more sturdy screw, which kind of gives you a third hole to attach to the to the wall there, as well as it keeps your camera very sturdy. So you don't have to worry about it falling off. So just unscrew it there as well as the there's a loop there for the the wire to go through. Uh, I forgot to mention that part before you just loop it through there. Uh, usually it's going through a house. So you would just loop it through the center center port. Uh, each every camera pretty much has the center port. So you could just like loop it through the house or whatever. This one, this, this camera mount here is a little bit weird. It has these like little grooves here and you have to line up the camera pretty perfectly. And then it clicks in the clicking in is kind of satisfying, but it's like I said, this, this one's a little bit more finicky than the outdoor one. As you can see, like you, you really have to get it like nice and perfect to, to get it to go. But once you got it going, it just slides in it slides out so once the cameras are done updating they should go from flashing green to solid green that's how you know it's done or you could just look at the app right the app should tell you sometimes it freezes so you're not not really sure but the best thing to do is to not unplug it and just leave it alone for about five minutes so once the app portion is done it will say hit next you just hit next and it will take you to the calibration page you 
you basically have to point it at a subject and have it scan them. It just takes a picture of them and then it analyzes that, oh, that's a person. That's how you set up your recording rules and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how you set up your ADC cameras. Any questions, leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.